It's time once again for the Baseball Brunch. It's brought to you by Wendy's. Breakfast so good, you'll want to tell someone about it. Jody Jackson now joined by Diamondbacks pitcher Taylor Widener, who has earned a spot in the rotation for the D-backs this season. Taylor, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for joining me. Quick question before we get into late night news, and that is, you know, it hasn't lined up for you to pitch in Atlanta, but I imagine being from Aiken, South Carolina, you're pretty close. So uh, did you get to see some family? I did. I got my, my parents came and I had some buddies that drove down. So I got to see them yesterday, which was great. And I, uh, I went to lunch this morning with my parents and one of my buddies, which was awesome to see them and get to hang out for a little bit. Back in the South. That's terrific. Yeah. All right. We are going to talk about a number of topics, some off of the track of baseball, late night news. This is in the football world uh, down at the University of Arizona, where they're connecting with a lot of alums these days. Rob Gronkowski, of course, of uh, Patriots and Tampa Bay Bucks fame and, uh, of course, a proud alum of the uh, Wildcats. He did something that has been set as a new world record, which is catching a football Dropped from a helicopter 600 feet. And <laughs> do you think you could do this, by the way? Just just curious. Uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's Gronk is, it is pretty impressive. You can see people down there at, at UA. They are uh, pumped up about that. But uh, are you a Gronk fan? I mean, you know, he, he's known, I think, almost – as much for his off the field antics and, and uh, hijinks as his on field uh, amazing career that he's had, of course. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not really a big NFL fan. Being from the Southeast, we're all about college football. So I've actually, I've never even been to an NFL game. Wow. We should get you out to a Cardinals game out here now that you're an Arizona Diamondback. They're supposed to be pretty good, by the way, yeah. too. So yeah, I can do that. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, obviously, South Carolina, Gamecocks, I mean, uh, what's, do you have a favorite SEC moment? There are so many moments at South Carolina that were so great. It's, uh, it's really hard to even put my finger on just one of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking your brain here for sure. Uh, but, yeah, the football, of course, in the SEC is, you know, uh, and they get the huge crowds typically. Hopefully we get back to that pretty soon. Here on the Baseball Brunch, we like to dig into Instagram posts and things like that. And so, um, again, last year we saw you out of the pen. Now you're in the starting rotation. And uh, your wife, Paige, posted something on Insta that got me thinking because it talked, I think, about the trials and tribulations of going through minor league life and making it to the majors. And uh, something's just made me want to pose a couple questions. She mentioned some blown out tires, air mattresses, mean tweets. I don't know, Taylor, shed a little bit of light on this from your wife. Well, I mean, uh, the air mattresses, I think 90% of the guys have slept on an air mattress in minor league baseball. It's uh, pretty typical that you cram six guys in a two, three bedroom apartment. You got air mattresses in the living room, just doing everything you can to try and save money. And then we had a, uh, the blown out tire was actually, we were leaving uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and we were driving to Birmingham for the All-Star game. And uh, we were in Atlanta, probably it was probably two o'clock in the morning, and we were driving down the interstate and we had a blowout. And <laughs> oh, no. not, not a good place to blow out. Even though you would think it's late at night, there was still so many cars zooming by us. And it was, uh, it was pretty terrifying. And then I had to drive from Atlanta to Birmingham on the spare tire, which was not very fun. Wow. Yeah. I mean, those are the things that you do. Like you said, whatever it takes, uh, whether it's cramming a bunch of guys into an apartment or, you know, but I mean, when you look at the journey that you've had, um, who are some of the people that have helped you through get through those kind of tough times? Because we know it's it's a small percentage of players that get to make it to the majors, and and the journey is part part of why it's hard, right? Yeah, no, I've I've been very blessed with all the coaches that I've had have been absolutely outstanding. Like, I it started whenever I was with the Yankees. The staff that we had there was very helpful with everything. They, uh, I don't know, I just I feel like I've been very lucky. I've had people that have. I personally felt they've always wanted to help me, and I just feel like I've had a very blessed way to go about it. 
And I'm sure your wife's a big part of that as well. Um, you know, how much support does she give you? Oh, she gives me tons of support and she helps me out so much during the season with stuff that like I'll be tired and she'll help me do some stuff around the house and she's always there picking me up and whenever it comes to the off season roles get reversed and I help do all the stuff around the house and it's 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 funny how it switches for you during the season and off season yeah the honeydew list did you have a long list this off season <laughs> uh I uh well I was working this off season so I uh I spent more time working than doing stuff around the house this year. Well, and that brings me to a very good segue. Uh, it's going to be our nuggets of wisdom. I do know about your job. Uh, of course, baseball is your real job, but groundskeeping and uh, doing the lawn and, and all of the good stuff, raking the bunkers, I guess, over at the Kierland Golf Course in Scottsdale. Tell me about how you got the gig. Well, I... Uh... I went and applied like normal and I didn't really talk about baseball. And then I told the superintendent that I played for the Diamondbacks and he was excited to have me there. And uh, I honestly, I just, I've always grown up and I've always loved cutting grass and doing yard work. And so I figured I was actually living on the golf course at the time. So I'll just ride my bike there in the morning and go work. And it's just very relaxing to me. I got to watch the sun come up on Camelback Mountain every morning. So it was very relaxing. I was going to say, what are the best and worst parts of that job? You might have just talked about the best. It's peaceful for you. But what's give me a little bit of the worst? Because, you know, I feel like my husband might be like you. He loves doing the grass. We have a, a bigger yard now, and it's huge, and he just loves it, though. And, um, you know, some people just, it's not my favorite. I hate pulling weeds, but hopefully you yeah. didn't have to do too many. You know, maybe you just spray the weeds, but. Yeah, we sprayed some weeds. But I would <laughs> say one of the worst is definitely everything. It's a desert. Everything is very spiky and pokes you. So a lot of times whenever you're pulling up, it was, we call them volunteers because they would grow without us wanting them to. So they would always call them volunteers. And those were not fun. You had to, it didn't matter how thick your gloves were. You would usually leave with your hands bleeding a little bit. You know, I feel you where I go hiking. If you literally, like, if you trip, you're done. You're into a cactus that has a ton of spikes on it. So that's your, that's your, uh, you're not in South Carolina moment anymore, right? No, no. <laughs> yeah. We don't have that in South Carolina. But you do get, I imagine, the perk of a little bit of free golf, right? Are you a pretty good golfer? Uh, I have my days. I, uh, <laughs> I play a good amount, but I, I'm definitely not the best on the team, but I can play a little bit some days. All right, who is the best? Uh, probably Carson. He's, That's uh, right. He's, yeah, he's a very good golfer. We see some posts there on the putting game, but how far can he drive it pretty far too? Uh, yeah, he can throw it. He can, uh, he can hit it pretty far. I think, I'm not sure of an exact distance, but he hits it a long ways. He's been hitting the baseball a long ways too. Real quick, as we we're going to switch to baseball, and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to ask you about your pitching in a moment. But Carson, let's hit on that for a moment because he's been raking. Yeah, he has. He's been he's been seeing the ball very well, and he's he's seen it well. And whenever a guy like that, whenever he's up walking, he had a pretty good streak going with walks too. And so that's just that's a sign right there that he's seeing the ball really well, and he's ever he's capitalizing on the mistakes from other pitchers. So. Look, your start to the season has been fantastic. You hadn't given up a run on the road in those first two starts. And then, you know, Cincinnati is Cincinnati. It's a little bit different. Things were going well. And then all of a sudden the ball was flying. But what's where are you right now with fastball slider? We've seen a lot of the fastball, and it's been working really well. Um, how are you employing those two pitches, and how pleased are you with the results so far? Well, I mean, I've been pleased with them. I've We changed some stuff up this offseason. Right during spring training, I just I came in and my goal is to throw more strikes. I had I had too many walks last year and uh, it got me in trouble quite a few times. And so during spring, I was throwing bullpens and I I was just having the catcher set up right down the middle and I was just trying to throw everything in the zone and just try and be more aggressive with the strike zone. And I think that's really helped me out. Well, it sure has. And it's been terrific to watch. Taylor, thank you so much for being here and being part of the Baseball Brunch. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right. Taylor Widener here on the Baseball Brunch. It's brought to you by Wendy's. Breakfast so good, you'll want to tell someone about it.